Good day class! For this day, we're going to discuss about Earth and Earth subsystem. But first, let us know our objectives for this lesson. Objectives Recognize the Earth as system composed of subsystems and identify how the Earth subsystem interacts to each other. Last time, we talked about the group of planets in our solar system. And we identify that the Earth as the only living planet with unique characteristic. Because Earth characterized by its blue water, rocky brown, and green land masses with white clouds set against a black ground. With that, let's proceed to our lesson proper. What is Earth's system? Earth is made up of erratic, complex, and interacted system that make it a constantly changing planet. It is also a set of interconnected components that are interacting to form a unified hood. To understand how the Earth system works, let's have an analogy. For example, we have government system, and government consists of subsystems which are legislative, executive, and judicial. In this picture, we can observe that even though they are different or have their own function, they still working for a whole government. It includes particular branches which are independent and they have own mandate but they all connected to make a one complex government. Just like the system of the earth. And now let us continue this with the earth's four subsystem. The biophysical components of the Earth system are often referred to as spheres and are subdivided into four, which are geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. These four regulate the different functions on the Earth. So let's stop first the first sphere in Earth subsystem, biosphere. What do you think the function of biosphere? Yes, it includes all life form on the earth, even smallest or biggest things that has a life. It, it is also covers all ecosystem, from the soil to the rainforest, from mangroves to coral reefs, and from the plant and rich ocean surface to the deep sea. Next subsystem is hydrosphere. What do you think the meaning of hydro? Yes, it means water. It is dynamic mass of water that is continuously on the move. And about 70% of the earth is covered with liquid water. And most of it is in the form of ocean water. Only 3% is the fresh water. But can you give an example of fresh water? Yes, it, in, it is include river, lakes, and falls. And about two thirds are in the form of ice. And the remaining one third is present in a stream and groundwater. Next subsystem is atmosphere. It is the thin gaseous layer that envelopes the lithosphere. The present atmosphere is composed of 78% nitrogen. 21% of oxygen, 0.0% of argon, and trace amount of the other gases. Atmosphere also have a layers. These layers are different in terms of temperature and distance. These layers are the tropospheres, stratospheres, mesospheres, thermospheres, and exospheres. Let us start first on the lowest part of the atmosphere, troposphere. It is also known as the boundary layer. It contains most of our weather, clouds, rains, and snows. In this part, the atmosphere gets colder as the distance above the Earth increases by about 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer. The top of troposphere, called tropospose, where it is about 7 to 10 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Next layer is the stratosphere. This extends upward from the tropopause to about 50 kilometers. 
it contains much of the ozone in the atmosphere and the temperature in the stratosphere are highest over the summer fold and lowest over the winter fold. But what do you think the reason why our ozone has an Arctic ozone hole? Right, it is because of CFCs from refrigerator, spray can, and fire extinguisher that leads to thin Earth's ozone layer. Next layer is mesosphere. It's the above region of stratosphere. Here, the temperature again decreases with high reaching a minimum of about 90 or negative 90 degrees Celsius. Thermosphere is a region in which the temperature increase caused by the absorption of energy ultraviolet and X-ray radiation from the sun. Exosphere The last region is about 500 kilometers. It contains mainly oxygen and hydrogen atoms which sometimes collide. Now, let's talk about the last subsystem of the Earth, which is geosphere. Geosphere makes up the solid portion of the Earth, and it is our structure and our land. And geosphere includes everything natural and lightless that make up the surface of the Earth. Examples are all the rocks and sand particles from dry land to those found at the bottom of the ocean, they also include the mountains, minerals, lava, and molten magma from beneath the Earth's crust. And that is the subsystem of the Earth. Question, how the Earth subsystem interacts to each other? There are many ways how subsystem interacts, but the most common scenario is the atmosphere provides the geosphere with heat and energy needed for the rock return and erosion. The geosphere, in turn, reflects the sun energy back into the atmosphere, and the biosphere receives gases, heat, and sunlight or energy from the atmosphere. And now we're going to proceed to your activity. Time's up. And now let's have a short evaluation. Read carefully the directions and answer the following in 10 minutes. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and God bless.